Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today is my day off and Babe asked me to go on the road with him. So I'm currently outside. It is 12 o'clock, so I stayed in, I slept in all morning. And yesterday I was asking to pick up a shift, but they didn't say anything. So like closer to the end of the day, I'm like, I'm not even gonna ask them again. I'm gonna just leave it alone. Especially considering the fact that this is like my last two weeks. One of my coworkers said to me yesterday, like, why am I going to work up to like the day before I start the new job? Like I should basically take the weekend off before I start the new job on the Monday. So next week is the week that I'm definitely going to have to tell the, um, the lady in the office who does the scheduling or whatever that I'm not going to be able to whatever. Just take me off the schedule basically. But um, I'm outside. We slept in this morning, woke up, and he made breakfast, which was really, really nice. I mean, I made breakfast yesterday. Not yesterday, Tuesday, because I was off Tuesday. I made us breakfast Tuesday. And so naturally, we alternate with the cooking here and there. So he made... Oh my gosh, I like the food on the stove. And we're not going to be back home for another eight, nine hours. But um, yeah, we he made breakfast, and that was good. And we just chilled for a little bit. But now we're on the road and we're going to be out here for a minute. So we're going to see how the day goes. I'm going to be close to the beach. And so chances are I'm going to end up at the beach. I don't know. I'm wearing leggings and a shirt. So I don't really know how that would work. But we're here. Hello there. Pretty sure we're not surprised here. But I'm coloring my hair. Again, this time it's like a little red color. I don't even know what to tell y'all. But that's what she's currently look like. So I'm sitting down and waiting for it to be done. I think it's done at this point. So I just need to shower and wash it out. So I'm going to wash it out in the sink and then go in the shower and like really finish it off. And I'm going to leave the end curly and out. Today I was sitting at work and I was like, oh my gosh. Um, wow, I look like a toenail. I was sitting at work and I was looking through some old pictures and I'm like, wow, I really need color on my hair. But I also kind of wanted to be subtle. I didn't want to go as far as to go copper. But now I don't know. I feel like maybe I went too subtle. But I also have to wash it out to see what it looks like. So we gotta wait and see. But um, yeah, kind of excited to see what the color is like. Of course, I dropped hair color all on me. So we're gonna have to see what that looks like too. I'm also sitting down trying to buy some scrubs on the 4th of July sale. So there's that. Anytime there's a straw, there, anytime there, there oh, wow, I can't even speak. Anytime there is a sale, I want to make sure that I can get all the items that I would have naturally gotten and save money. So, we're going to try and do that. Because I did buy some that were huge and my coworker took them off of my hands. Love that for us. Excuse me. So now I really have to repurchase some. So, I'm going to do that. All while I'm saving some things to my camera roll, doing my hair, whatever. Oh, I want to show you all the picture that I... um got the inspiration I'm gonna pop it on the screen here so this is the picture that I got the inspiration from I just felt like I needed to see my hair in a color and I absolutely needed to see my hair out and then I had a little bun because I feel like I thrive very much when I have a high bun so that's where we are I'm gonna pop a pair of gloves on and like rinse my hair and see what the color is giving I don't know if it's giving what I wanted it to give but we're gonna have to see hello you guys welcome back to my channel so i haven't vlogged in a few days but i wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update as to what has been going on lately um a couple of nights ago we went on a little date night i'll include clips of whatever i have right here as we go along we went on a little date night very chill very cute loved it we had ice cream i had mangoes um, it was very nice. Those are my favorite kind of date nights where we're able to, you know, spend uninter uninterrupted time with each other and just do chill things. We're able to hear each other speak because that's a big thing for me. So that was great. So went on a date night and then we went to see fireworks and then, um, I went on the road with him one of the days and then another one of the days I went to surprise him at work. <laughs> There's that. He was very much surprised even though it was not that great of an experience for me. But, you know, I knew that maybe he would have, he could use that. So, I did that. I've been preparing to start my new job. So, yesterday when I went to work, I said, you know what, let me just go down to the office. Tuesday when I was off, 
I called and the lady said, oh, I can't just take you off the schedule for three weeks. You have to come speak to the director of nursing. Okay, fine. Went to the director's office Wednesday and I brought a letter with me saying that I had a family emergency. Mm, he wasn't there, so I left the letter on his desk. He didn't say anything. So tomorrow when I go to work, I have to follow up with that to see what's going on because my letter states that I will not be available starting three days from now. So I need them to update the schedule accordingly. So I need to see how that's going when I go tomorrow. But um, he never, I, I even called his office this morning and left a voicemail saying that, you know, I'm looking forward to hearing from him because I left him a letter yesterday and nothing came of that. So we need to see how that goes. But um, yeah, I'm just here today. Today's my day off. Today is my last day. Um, I should have Sunday off too before I start a new job. But I'm very excited. I ordered some scrubs online. Some came before and they were huge. I'll put it, I'll put the clip right here. I looked like a thank you paper bag and I was not happy. So, I was lucky enough to be able to sell those to one of my coworkers who is also going to be working there. And um, now I had to repurchase some more. Babe decided that, listen, buy some figs. <laughs> he said, you're going to have to have a figs Friday. I kid you not. He was laughing me to absolute scorn. And I was debilitated by the scrubs, okay? Um, so he was like, all right, well, I'm going to buy you two pairs of figs. KK, great. So um, I got the money and then I ended up finding Mandela. Mandela literally has the same quality as the figs for a smaller price point. So I was able to now buy four pairs of the Mandela with the money that I was going to use to buy two pairs of the figs. Amazing stuff. And it's going to be amazing quality. I just don't know when the hell it's going to get here. I'm mad. However, I went back on Uniform Advantage because I realized that the ones that I bought had no stretch, so I needed to buy something with stretch. So I'm back on Uniform Advantage and I bought some butter soft stretchy material. I'm waiting for those to get here tomorrow because I have one jacket from them and the jacket looks really, really nice. It fits nicely. So I'm thinking that type of material should fit nicely. Whatever I get tomorrow, I'm going to have to keep and make it work for at least the two weeks of the orientation and then I figure something else out as I go along. Chances are I'm going to end up buying some more from Mandela because I really do love their quality. Um, and Jules had them too, so she did say, you know, do that. And one of my other friends at work, Kara, said, you know, Mandela is really good too. Because when I went on Amazon and looked at the price of the scrubs, ooh, they were a little bit more than what I paid on Mandela. So... Yeah. However, if I'm absolutely uncomfortable, I'm going to... This time, why I was shit out of luck is because initially when I bought from Uniform Advantage, I took the tags off. I've been doing this for years and I absolutely do not learn in that department because I've been doing it for so long and I still didn't learn enough that I took them off. Anyways, I ended up writing the company on... Um, on Instagram and they were basically telling me to give them my order number and stuff to see if I could still return the items without the tags. By that time I had already sold them to my coworkers, so it wasn't necessary anymore and I had repurchased some more and they said to give them the order number so they could make sure that it's here in time for Monday. So it should get here tomorrow which is so exciting so tomorrow when I come home I'm gonna try those on. Tomorrow I have a few things to do. I have to stop by the nail shop to fill my nails and file them down a little bit shorter because you know starting a new job they have and it's a hospital they gotta be real short. So we're gonna see how that works at least for the first two or three weeks while you figure things out you know. So yeah, um, that's basically what has been going on in my life for the last like week and a half. It's been a little bit chaotic because I've had to be preparing myself to start the new job, buying scrubs, this, that, whatever. So that really is where we are in terms of that. So I'm going to have to see how that's going when I go to work tomorrow and I've really just been all over the place which is why I have not vlogged. I think I have a vlog that I already started so if anything this will be a continuation of that. So thank you guys so so much for watching me all the time. I hope you guys enjoy this video and I look forward to taking you guys along on the journey of being a PCT in the hospital. They do call it nurse tech at the hospital that I'm going to be working at so PCT nurse tech tomato tomato same thing. So just so you guys know when I'm seeing nurse tech or whatever, that's what I do mean. But it's exciting things going on around here. I've just been a little bit busy trying to spend time with babe before all of it starts because I'm going to be working the night shift. 
don't know how I feel about that, but I do have some night shift experience from when I used to run my own business back in Jamaica a few years ago. Anyways, like I said, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next video.